The Minnesota Chamber of Commerce is suing the city of Minneapolis over raising the minimum wage. The lawsuit comes five months after the city approved the ordinance. Kate Raditz was in the courtroom this morning in Hennepin County. So, Kate, do they really have a case here? Well, we will see. The Chamber of Commerce is saying that this new uh, ordinance, the minimum wage ordinance, would essentially conflict with state laws. Now, whether or not that's the case will be up for a judge to decide. The city of Minneapolis voted in June to increase its minimum wage to $15 an hour. That came after years of debate over this issue. The increase will apply to most employees in the city, including those who earn tips. Companies have been given five to seven years to phase in that wage increase. Today in court, the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce said it wanted to put a stop to Minneapolis enforcing this ordinance on grounds that would create a patchwork of local laws that would be a burden on employers. This is not about the policy of where should minimum wage rates be. This is about the policy of whether individual cities should be setting islands of minimum wage rates, whether we should have a patchwork of city specific minimum wages located around the state. Now, this is not the first time that, that the city has been sued, actually, by the Chamber of Commerce. They were also challenged on their uh, sick leave ordinance. In that case, the court sided with the city, but the Chamber is now appealing on that case. Thank you, Kate. I know Bill Hudson is following this through this evening. Thank you.